Hi everybody, I'm currently on vacation in Florida right now, which is why I don't have all the fancy cameras and lights. But I wanted to offer a few comments on the state of the church. And uh, I shared this with my local supporters this morning and a few people have asked me to publish them publicly and so I've written them out. And so rather than ad lib, <clears throat> I'll just read through these and <clears throat> take it for what it's worth. So these are a few thoughts about the state of the church from an unsophisticated and uneducated, but hopefully humble, Catholic. When things are chaotic and turbulent, a reasonable response is fear and anxiety. And when we're fearful and anxious, a reasonable desire is to be consoled and reassured. It seems more than obvious to me that many, maybe most, faithful Catholics are in some degree, uh, of, uh, are experiencing some degree of fear and anxiety regarding the state of the church. And we're looking for consolation and reassurance. I see two extremes. Extreme number one is to say that all is basically well. Yes, there are problems. Yes, Pope Francis says and does some confusing things. But almost all of this is blown out of proportion by the media and by online rad trad types. Things are well. Things have always been well. We need to stop overreacting. This aims to console and it aims to reassure, but from where I'm standing at least, whether intended or not, it's an act of gaslighting because things are not well. And pretending that they are is insulting to people's intelligence, not to mention a lie. Here's the second extreme. Pope Francis is not the Pope. He's an anti-Pope. Or more, he may in fact be the Antichrist. This option at least seems to take the fear and anxiety we feel seriously, but offers a false conclusion. But, false conclusion though it is, false answer though it is, it at least is an answer. It seems to give some sort of clarity. Never mind the terrible consequences this false view will inevitably lead to in the not so distant future such as illegitimate bishops who have deigned, uh, ordained illegitimate priests, or illegitimate cardinals, one of whom may be named Pope next. Forget all that. We want to be soothed now. The fear is too much now. The anxiety is too great now. All right, so here's, here's the not terribly insightful, not at all satisfying third option. We acknowledge the corruption, the bad decisions, the false teachers, and not to mention our own wretchedness. And then like Job, we sit in a pile of dung and wait upon the Lord. As my spiritual father put it to me this morning, quote, Stay in the tension. Every heresy comes from trying to force a resolution in the tension. Remaining in the tension, stretched out on the cross, is the only way, and it feels and smells like a dung heap. End quote. One final piece of advice for me and for you. Continue to live by and to teach the truths of the Holy Catholic Church. The failure of others, including leaders, to do this does not alleviate us of the responsibility to do so. What else? Ask that God make you a saint. And while waiting uh, on that, <laughs> at least be kind to the people around you. Don't cause your loved ones any unnecessary grief. Be a cause of joy for them. Be gentle with yourself and with those around you. Pray at all times. Forgive your enemies. Pray for the Holy Father. Read the writings of the Holy Fathers. And frequent the sacraments. 
And finally, don't leave the dunghill. Now, if you have a better answer that doesn't involve gaslighting or schism, I'm all ears. Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I've put some scripture in the description of this video that I think is worth meditating on. You might find that useful. God bless.